Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag SQL Server DBA tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to import .sql data file into SQL Server with SQL CMD. So when we are getting the SQL data file, so whenever you have uh, you are just connecting with the database and you are generating a script, so we will get the .sql data file. So SQL data file, it contains of the script of any table or a multiple tables, we have a data on that. So how to import with SQL CMD? Actually .SQL data file is sometimes size is bigger than uh, MB or uh, in GB also. So that file is quite difficult to open in SQL Server Management Studio, that time we use to uh, SQL CMD. If you are if your dot SQL file is larger than 50 plus MB, then I recommend you to use SQL CMD. The command line utility that come build uh, build it bundled with SQL Server. So it is very easy to use and it handles large file as, as well. I tried it with the size of 21 gig file using the following command. So this is the command and uh, in this command we are using minus s so this is for the syntax is the server name or local host what you are putting so here it indicates the server name and minus d we are using the database name and minus u we are using the user minus p that is for the password and minus i for the input file and minus o this will be the output file so whenever we are importing the data, we just use uh, some uh, txt file to get the log. So let me go through one by one. First, let me create the dot SQL file. So I'm going to open SQL Server Management Studio. <coughs> I will generate a script for that one table script then I will delete and then then I'll show you how to import with the SQL CMD and we can use for the uh, SQL CMD for the command line also and with the PowerShell also So assume uh, one database name is Chirag, inside the Chirag there is a two tables are there. Let me check with the data. So some data is there, let me just generate a script so right click on your database go to the task there is a generate script so next I want the table for the customer only click on next skip this path In this path, I am gen generating script. I am giving the name customer underscore script and go to the advanced setting. I want there is a uh, data to the script. There is a three type data only, schema, and data and schema only. If you want only structure, then go to the schema and structure with the data, then go to the schema. So I am just running with the schema and data. Click on OK click on next next yes. write the name my name customer, customer underscore script dot square and I'm going to delete this table for now 
okay so i have only one table i don't have now customer table let me refresh and check the table so now i'm going to import this sql file with the command line so here i'm going to change this one and output customer script so let me create one file there the documents there is a customer script is there I'm going to create so customer in uh, how to put output customer script we don't have any data so I'm closing this one and customer script is there so open the customer script If you large file then you won't able to open so here you drag and other things are there some uh, insert query is there create table is there so automatically it will create so now I'm going to run with the CMD let me run this query So we are not getting any error. Let me check into the customer is created. Let me check with that data. Yeah, in data is inserted <coughs> now. In script nothing is there so I got one error let me check here there is a permission error is there okay. protected folder access is block that is uh, blocked by ransomware protection this uh, opt for this one for some time now again I am deleting this one and I want the log file now I am going to run with the powershell so windows powershell So this is my SQL command code. SQL command as it uh, local host is a server name. This is a database chira, you user ID and that is the password. This is the input file and this is the output file. Let me run again. So completed successfully. Now let me check with the check with the file. So file is uh, size in one table now. So you can able to check that change database context to chirag and there is a uh, one row is affected so now let me check into the database so database data is inserted data is inserted and one more thing just i'm going to delete one data edit I'm delete, deleting one data so we have only one data now one record now now again I'm going to run this code and 
and uh, I'm not writing into the output file. So there is a now I'm getting change database to contest and I'm getting the primary key error because this is customer ID is primary key for my, uh, for me and other data whatever the data duplicate date uh, don't have duplicate data just like the second row is deleted so that is data is inserted into the database let me run it again and check so second data is inserted so because of primary key you are not able to insert the same record multiple times this way also it will work so in this video we have learned how to import dot sql file into the sql server database with the sql cmd so i'm all uh, already using for the many databases whenever i want to restore uh, multiple table from one database to another database so you can use this one you can use cmd and powershell also so and the syntax summary is there so go through that so hope this will help thank you for watching